Anaheim 1 is done. Jason Wygant and Jim Hollywood Holly here for SupercrossOnline.com. And what a thriller it was here at the opening round of Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship. Chad Reed and James Stewart, their long-term stranglehold over this series might just be broken up. There's a new challenger in town. His name's Ryan Dungey. And he runs the number five on that yeah. factory Suzuki. I mean, who would have thought that, uh, you know, if you ask anybody in this stadium, come lap 15, that uh, James Stewart would be sitting second uh, spot behind Ryan Dungey. At one point, Ryan Dungey had a 4.3 lead over James Stewart, the defending champion. But, uh, you know, James came through. But uh, Dungey, uh, you know, he, he almost came back in that last a couple turns from the end there and put a little move on him there to show him that hey I'll be back next week in uh, Phoenix and how about Kevin Wynn and the 16 year veteran here in Supercross Mike LaRocco the new team manager over there their key is their slogan we're thinking outside the box okay. and it's working for him you know but uh, I, I think it's uh, it's going to be a great series it's unfortunate uh, Chad Reed got into Austin Stroop at the beginning of the race got a foot peg in his front wheel lost a bunch of spokes and uh, you know when you're in the air like that and the front wheel is loose like that and you land you say hey you know what I got to call it a day and I got to regroup and get ready for uh, Phoenix but uh, it'll be good next weekend in Phoenix for sure and James Stewart's definitely happy remember last year he was on the ground and out of this race tonight he wins the challenge from Dungey was there but Stewart getting it done in the clutch when he needs to he's got the points lead it's a whole lot better than he was one year ago at this time now let's talk about the lights class instant replay of last year Jake Weimer goes out wins Anaheim 1 in 09 he goes out wins Anaheim 1 here in 2010 well and he looked good I mean he's the guy to beat he's got that new number 12 on the that uh, Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki bike. He looks good. He looks like, you know, everybody knew that he finished up second last year in the championship to Dungey. Knew that he's going to be the guy, but Trey Kennard put in a great ride, finishing second tonight on his Geico Honda. And last year, you know, he was outside that top 10. So yeah. he's sitting pretty going into Phoenix. He's happy with that in third spot. You know, he's consistent. Uh, that's Ryan Morris on that new Suzuki ride that he's got. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see uh, Blake, uh, actually, uh, Tommy Hahn, uh, little brother, Will Hahn, uh, you know, put in a great ride, him and Blake Wharton going back and forth. But that was your top five in the lights class. And uh, we'll see what happens next weekend in Phoenix. Well, we had a lot of questions coming in here in Anaheim 1. And now we just have even more questions for Phoenix, which should make it one heck of an event. So join us at supercrossonline.com for all the information. Or just come down to Chase Field and join us one week from tonight.